let's do practice exercise 2 question 12 in how many ways can 6084 be written as a product of two different factors now whenever the question is about number of factors i will always start by saying let us break this number 6084 into its prime factors now 6084 has to be a multiple of 3 because 8 plus 6 14 plus 4 18 so it is a multiple of 3 Similarly, the last two digits is 84, which is a multiple of 4. So I can say this number has to be a multiple of 12. So 6084, I'll start by saying divided by 12, I'm sorry, is equal to 12 into 12, 5 is a 60. The remainder is 0, so 8 comes down. Again, 0, 4, 8, 12, 5, 0, 7. Okay. Now 5, 0, 7, I know 17 into 3 is 51, or 170 into 3 is 510. That means 169 into 3 should be 507. So there is nothing but 12 into 3 into 169 and 169 is 13 square. 169 is 13 square and 12 is nothing but 2 square into 3. So the number can be written as 2 square into 3 square into 13 square. So the number of factors before I find, write down in how many ways can it be written as, as the product of two factors. I will need to find the number of factors. So the number of factors of 6084 will be the power plus 1 into power plus 1 into power plus 1. So 2 plus 1, 3 into 3 into 3 which is 27. Now obviously it should be obvious. Uh, now it should be visible to all of us that this is a perfect square. All powers are even. And also the number of powers is or number of factors is odd. That is another indicator. It's a perfect square. Okay. So how many different factors are there? There are total of 27 factors, but there are 13 pairs, and one is a square root of the number, which is the square root of the number will be 2 into 3 into 13. When I say 13 pairs, I mean one could be 1 and 6084. So this is a pair which multiplied will give me the original number. Another could be 2 into 3042. Again, so these are pairs like this. So there will be out of the 27 factors, one is the square root. So eliminate that, you are left with 26 different factors which are nothing but 26, 13 pairs. So the correct answer has to be choice C.